Hey guys, so today Losi announced an update to their 110th scale Rock Ray truck, the new Hammer Ray. This is going to be an officially licensed Casey Curry U4 racer replica, and it includes a new body, new cage, as well as some pretty neat updates from the previous version of the Rock Ray, and of course for 2022, a nice new price tag. Before we look into this thing in detail, I just want to let you know coming up, we've got some really cool things. I've got my first 1/5th scale gas truck I'm going to be doing videos on, got some cheap Amazon trucks we're going to be taking a look at, a bunch of upgrades and mods for the X-Max and other vehicles, and a lot of other cool stuff and giveaways. So if you're interested in any of those things, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to get notified of future videos because there's going to be a lot of cool stuff coming up. All right, let's take a look at this thing. First, taking a look at the outside of the truck, this looks like a pretty faithful replica of the truck that they have licensed. There's a lot of cool license detail on here, all the different branding and paint scheme, as well as fire extinguishers and fake reservoirs for the shocks, headlights, a light bar, all kinds of cool stuff. They've got licensed tires as well, and you get the little driver figures inside. Overall, I think it's a pretty cool looking package. Now to accommodate this new body style, everything's been lengthened. I'm not sure exactly where the new length comes in, but the original Rock Ray was 20 inches long, and this thing is 26 inches long. That actually makes it longer than a 1 8 scale Arma Creighton. It's only 12 and a half inches wide, which makes it quite a bit more narrow than a Creighton, but I'm not sure that this thing is going to be considered a 1 10th scale vehicle anymore, given that it's longer than a lot of 1 8th scale vehicles are. To go along with the new updated looks on the outside, Horizon has put their 130 amp ESC in here. They say it's rated at 3S, but they've got the same ESC in the LOC LMT, and you can run that on 4S no problem. I get the feeling you'll be able to run this on 4S as well. It's got the 3150 kV pressless motor in there and the Spectrum 614 Metal Gear Servo. These servos are actually pretty decent in my experience. They're not the best in the world, but for RTR servos, they're pretty good. They chose to use the DX3 radio system in it, which will include a receiver with AVC. I think that's a nice choice over the SLT3 system that they include in a lot of cars. At this price range, the DX3 really should be the radio that they're using, and they are, which is good. The chassis configuration appears to be very similar to the previous version Rock Ray. They have an updated steering system, which is supposed to be stronger. They've also updated the rear axle housing for additional strength with larger bearings, as well as an upper rear link mount for additional durability. The electronics in it are gonna be all waterproof. The shocks don't appear to be different than the old style shocks. They are plastic threaded body shocks with aluminum cap nuts, but plastic ends on both ends. You've got those cool LED headlights, a little light bar underneath those, and then a bigger light bar on top, and the same rear loading battery tray system of the old Rock Ray. Here's a picture showing that longer wheelbase. That additional almost six inches of length isn't gonna be coming all from the wheelbase though. The old Rock Ray really had no body overhanging the rear of the truck, and this does have a fair amount of body overhanging, so that's where some of that length is gonna come from. Other than the changes that I mentioned, I don't really think there's much different from the old Rock Ray. New electronics, a little bit longer, of course the new body, new wheels and tires, the updated steering system, and I think that's about it. To go along with these changes, they've also increased the price by a full $100. This truck's going to be $580. For a 110 scale truck, that is a lot of money. But keep in mind, like I said, this thing is really big for a 110 scale vehicle. I think considering it 1 9th scale, even 1 8th scale would be reasonable, but they're calling it 110 scale, so we'll call it 110 scale. $580 is a lot of money, and I think some people are going to balk at that price. But keep in mind, this is a licensed vehicle and they have to pay for that licensing and everything is going up in price. I think this is going to be kind of the norm going forward. So I definitely understand people's complaints about it, but it's probably something we're just going to have to get used to because I think everything is going to be priced similarly going forward. Anyway, guys, that's all I have for you on the new Losi 110 scale Hammer Ray U4 four wheel drive rock racer. If you have any questions or comments, throw them down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Otherwise, please subscribe, drop me a like, and we'll see you in the next one.